Alright, what are you gonna do, Waluigi? He's gonna get a mushroom. Alright, so I'm- since I'm almost at 50 coins, I think I'm gonna, uh, wait to use that booze crystal ball. So I can get another star for Peach. Uh-oh, Chan Sign, I'm scared. Yeah, I don't care if it's referred to as Reversal of Fortune this game, I'm just gonna continue to call it Chance Time. Alright, I'm kinda hoping I'm not involved in this. Alright, herself, and she's probably gonna try and screw me over, uh-oh. Let's see... <laughs> Oh no, Waluigi, so now I'm not worried. Come on, give him a star. You don't deserve your star. Oh, she has to give him 20 coins. Not a big deal, but still. She screwed herself. Good, that, and that kind of balanced out their coins more, so that was pretty good. Yeah, I got hold on my boost crystal ball. Seriously, I think the biggest number I've rolled on this board is a six. I've just been getting very crappy dice rolls on this board. Totally. Alright, what are you gonna buy? Maybe we'll see an item we haven't seen yet. Oh, Super Mega Mushroom. That allows you to roll three dice blocks. You don't steal more coins from each person you squish. Uh, it's just that you get more dice block. Alright, four player minigame, and we are playing Mario Medley, a swimming minigame. This minigame is kind of hard, too, honestly. Not the easiest minigame. Uh, breaststroke, backstroke, and crawl. You must do a 25 meter lap of each different stroke to win this race. If you swim too hard, you'll get tired, so watch your heart meter carefully. Yet, somehow the computer players are able to swim fast and, like, barely use any energy. You have to, con like, hold, like, not waste your energy. Alright, so first we have to do A and B at the same time. Right, I'm gonna try and go a little bit slow. I'm gonna save your energy. But that's probably the hardest part. Now here's probably the most relaxing part. This in the end would be so easy if there was no heart meter. Just falling behind there a bit for a second. Now I do B and A. Yeah, but I'm afraid to run it. See, like, DK's ahead of me, and he has more energy. Baby! Oh my god, I won at the last second. That was awesome. I really thought DK was going to win that. Yes! Phew, that was close. Alright, so I can almost seal an a star from Peach, which is good. And I moved up to second as well. And we're on turn 11 or 12, I believe. Yeah, 11. God, this is taking forever. I might consider switching it to 15 for the next board. I don't know, this is just taking really long. And this is the latest recording I've ever done. I'm still not done yet, and it's 11 o'clock right now. And there's school tomorrow. This is the latest recording I've ever done. And, like, between this and part one, like, I showered and put on my pajamas, but, like, I wanted to finish tonight. I didn't want to have to, like, record the second part after school tomorrow. And it could possibly be three parts. You never even, I don't even know. Finally, a ten. That's my first ten on the board. Alright, so I just need to win the next mini game, and I can take Peach's star. So I'm in the lead for the minigame star and the happening star, and DK's in the lead for the coin star. 
he's gonna try and just be a coin order on this board, I think. This doesn't look like he's getting a star anytime soon. I'm honestly not even completely sure where the next star is. Oh, there- Why would he do that? He's so stupid! Why the heck would he- Oh my god, you're so stupid, Donkey Kong. Alright, four player mini game, and we get Mr. Blizzard's Brogate. Yeah, this is a fun one. This kind of reminds me of Ice Rink Risk, only the concept is a bit different. Uh, run on this frozen pond while avoiding the snowballs thrown by the blizzard. Move right before the blizzard so there's snowballs. They'll stop moving just before they throw. This mini game can be pretty tricky. Because near the end, it just gets like almost impossible to dodge all that. It like gets as hard as avoiding those chickens in that rooster difficulty minigame in A Link Between Worlds. And for anyone who hasn't played that, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. And I lost. I'm usually better at that minigame, honestly. Looks like DK one. <laughs> You're so stupid though, you totally he totally made himself miss that star. <laughs> oh and because I lost that I can't still start from Peach yet. <laughs> Sometimes computer players will just use their mushrooms for like no reason, like, there is no good reason for Waluigi to use his mini mushroom right now, but he used it anyway. Yeah! Why would you use that? Yeah, because DK passed the star, so that's not really gonna help her. But then again, I still think she's closer than she was before, so I guess that was pretty smart. Yeah, now she's even closer. Well, I am taking her star, though, so hopefully that will make her less of a threat. Uh, I gotta go around again. I'm gonna have to go around twice because DK is gonna get to go the good way. So yeah, I'm gonna be- maybe the next star will appear soon or something. <gasps> Hit him, Mark! Oh, yes! Awesome! That's the second hidden walk star on this board. That is awesome, I can't believe that. Yes! So now I'm feeling confident about winning this board. We still have like eight turns ago, but I'm feeling pretty confident now. Alright, what are you gonna buy, DK? Oh, magic lamp, yeah. These things aren't quite as common in uh Mario as in this game as they are in Mario Party 3. But they're rare like in Mario Party 2 and they're ex even more expensive. But, um, the annoying thing about the magic lamp is the magic lamp cutscene in this game is so long, it gets really annoying. Oh, and Avalanche, this is a really fun mini game. I used to be so good at it, but I kind of suck at it, at it now. Uh, don't get swallowed by the avalanche behind you. Ski down the mountain and avoid the obstacles, too. If you don't use your poles, you'll slow down. Watch out for the walls and boulders as you speed down the hill. Okay. I've actually never been skiing before. I remember one time, uh, I have three brothers, but this was before my two little brothers were born. My mom and dad took me and my older brother skiing when we were little. But I, I just wanted to stay in the resort the whole time because I hate cold weather. So my, my older brother skied, but I've never actually skied. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I didn't win, but just the fact that I survived makes me feel good. 
just the fact that I made it after running into a rock. Mm, I'm so tired right now, I really want to finish this recording. Yeah, guys, I'm actually considering switching it to 15 turns. Uh, next board because it's taking forever. Really. Yeah. Unless you guys don't think it's taking forever, let me know what you think. I think this is taking forever. It feels long. Alright, let's say a peach can get lucky like me and win. No, you're a loser. You get so much money if you get the golden ball. It's very rare. I've only gotten it a few times before. Um, I actually usually get- whenever I win, it's usually from the ball one. I rarely win the lottery ticket one. Why can't it just be in real- like, in real life is you can take- and you can take as many lottery tickets as you want. Okay, I would love a Mega Mushroom right now. See, as you can see, it switches. It's not like you get a choice, like sometimes the big one will be in the small box. And here we get to see the really long genie animation. The genie's kind of disturbing and looking in Mario Party 4. Like, he just looks like so cartoony in Mario Party 2 and 3, especially 2. But like, in this game, he just looks like so like new and disturbing looking. <laughs> I love how his body is like in the shape of a lamb. So he pounds the ground and it takes you right to the star. Alright, so I think I'll steal Peach's star next turn. Oh good, I'm headed there and Peach is out of the way. Oh wait, no I'm not. I'm, I was thinking of uh, where Waluigi is. I think Waluigi's- oh yeah, Waluigi is magic lamp anyway, it wouldn't have mattered. I wish computer minigames- skipping computer minigames could skip that. And we have Manta Rings. This is one of those minigames where you just like have to tap A like lightly, like, but repeatedly. So this is one of those minigames where having a turbo control really comes in handy like me. Uh, dive through the rings while swimming in the ocean. Each ring is worth one point. If any enemies hit you, you'll lose points. The gold manta rings are worth three points, so try to grab as many gold ones as you can. Alright, I'm pretty good at this minigame. And you can get hit by sea creatures, so we have to watch that. And oh god, you can see a peach's dress. I love how you can see up her dress, but it's just like a hole going up like you can't see her underwear. Like, they just made sure to do that, so parents wouldn't get upset. No, you, the characters make such weird noises when they get hit by the enemies in this video. Up, oh, gold. They should totally have a record to be set in this minigame, because I could totally break it. Thank you. Thirty-one. That's thir eight to two to thirty-one to seven. That's my personal best. Not even kidding. That's the best I've ever done in Manta Rings. So they all get to drown, and we get to go to shore with Toad. All right. So you were losing a star, Peach. But first, we gotta watch the genie animation again. We're almost done. We're almost at the final five turns. Let's just hope we can finish this before midnight. Yeah, I think this um, genie went to McDonald's one too many times. Yeah, it used to be so simple. You would just fly us there. Now we gain a million pounds, and now he ground pounds the ground, and we go flying to the star. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, what did this genie do with its life? Oh, he gets to go to Boo, too. Crap, and he's gonna seal for me. Which means that I am, I'm probably not gonna have enough coins to seal from Peach, so I'm actually gonna have to wait another turn. Which sucks. Oh, yes! Awesome! I'm gonna get that star. But first, I got a button mash. Oh, what? Okay, I'm winning. I guess he's still from DK, just because, like, he didn't even- he doesn't even have that many more coins than me. Yeah. yeah, what the heck? He has, like, one more coin than me. He had one more coin than me, and I have one more star, but he's still for me. That was kind of dumb, Waluigi. Am I complaining? No, but still. Mega Peach. And once again, another example of a computer player using their mushroom just to use it. Oh wait, never mind, never mind. I didn't even realize DK was there. Oh, I think Peach might be in the lead for the happenings so now. I definitely- no, I still think that I'm in the lead for the minigame star, though. So yeah, let's take Peach's star, and then I'll get another star, but I need to win the next minigame to have enough for another star. Yeah, Peach, she's definitely a bigger threat than Waluigi. Especially because I think she's in the lead for the happening star. So yeah, I'm gonna- I, if I win this game, it's gonna be because of stealing. Yeah, that's right, kids. In Mario Party, stealing is right. Not in the real world, but in Mario Party, stealing is right. Oh, I wanted a mini mushroom, so I wouldn't have two megas. Great, now I'm gonna have to race DK to this next star. It's not guaranteed to be mine. I would totally cr I'm so tempted to crush him with a mega mushroom, but I gotta try and get that star. Alright, two versus two. The Great Delight, this is the easiest Mario Party minigame in the history of Mario Party minigames. This is so freaking easy. Do ground pounds on the inflated thwomp repeatedly to deflate it. Time your jump to your partner to, to deflate the thwomp faster. This is so easy. All you have to do is just keep ground pounding. Like, and you gotta do high up ground pounds. This is like the simple, like a two year old could win this in the end. I hate Dwamps. This medium is enjoyable for me because of that. Finish! See, the computer players like just kind of suck at it. They weren't even that close. And this is another beach theme mini game. No, like that little island. Like I'm, I'm not even kidding when I said this. That little island that we were just playing that mini game on, the Great Deflate. That's the, that's the island where the save, uh, the or, um, the profile selection screen takes place. That's the same island of the profile selection screen in Mario Party, or not Mario Party, yeah, Super Mario Sunshine. Alright, next turn is the final five turns, so we're almost done. Oh, damn it! I keep getting cry- I've been getting the worst dice rolls on this board. Yeah, DK got the star. This is gonna be a really close game, and Peach is actually in last now. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, we would all have two stars if I hadn't stolen Peach's star. Well, now it's mega time. Well, Peach is gonna crush me next turn. <laughs> We're all, like, neck and neck. But I have one more star than everyone else, so I'm kind of at an advantage. <laughs> Yes, four player mini game. Three throw, I love this one. I'm pretty good at it too. 
Not the best basketball player in real life, but I'm pretty good at this mini game. I try to make the most shots into the moving baskets. The middle baskets are worth two points, the bottom one worth one. Shoot after the high point of a jump to make it to the middle into the middle row. I always try and go for the middle row. Like I can I can get it easily. I love going for the middle row. Kinda sucks being in the middle though for DK and I because the people at the edge have a better chance. Like they can get the basket and then like we won't get to get it. Oh my god, Waluigi and I almost sided. I got that one basket right at the end. And then DK totally sucked and Peach didn't do that well. Yeah, sorry Waluigi, I'm not sharing the win with you. <laughs> at the last second, we almost would have tied and we both would have won. Yeah. Alright, we're at the last side turn, and so this is the what the lottery tickets do. He'll hit a dice block and they'll see if one of you, your tickets is a winner. Unfortunately, neither of our ours is. So I'm in first, Waluigi's in second, DK's in third, and Peach is in last. We're all pretty close to each other. So now Peach is gonna decide what the um, Final Five Turns event is. So now stars are free. Uh, there's more options than there was in Mario Party 3 now. Uh, this is the first Mario Party to have more, like, in Mario Party 1, 2, and 3, it's always just the blue and red spaces are multiplied. Now, like, you can, stars can be free, red spaces can become Bowser spaces. Uh, uh, spaces being, uh, multiplied is still an option, but there's still other things. Um, all red stasis can become Bowser stasis or Chance Time stasis. That can really mix the game up. And she's gonna steal my coin. Screw you. Oh, I'm just gonna get her right back, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, and awesome, I get to go the way I didn't wanna go- that I do wanna go because she didn't make it. Awesome. Unless I get like a two, but at least I'd get doubles if I got a two. If I got like two one. A ten. So yes, I got my money back and now I'm headed for the star. There's not much time left, the board's almost over. Come on, I need more money. I don't lose. Yeah, it's awesome that stars are free now, because now it's just like you can buy a magic lamp and automatically use it, because stars are free. Alright, two versus two. Come on, let's get a new one. Yes, Team Treasure Track. This minigame's hard, but it's a lot of fun. I love this minigame. Um, find the question mark blocks that match your team's color. Once you and your partner have found each block, you must meet each other in the, in the maze. The two players on the left are the red team, and the two players on the right are the blue team. If you get lost, check your map. Um, when you check your map, though, like, the game's still going, so if you check your map, you don't want to waste a lot of time doing it, like, you want to go quick. Uh, this is kind of confusing to get through. And then after you find a treasure uh, chest, you want to follow your partner. Because then and because then you'll be right near them as soon as they find theirs. Alright, so I got one. Now I gotta follow Waluigi. And Peach is get so let's find hers. Alright, good. Peach didn't get hers, awesome, we won. It's funny, you can see it now, but sometimes, um, if you're near the losing team, you, you see them, like, pout in the background, and that's kind of funny. All 
Alright, we are almost done. I could possibly just make this two parts instead of three, because that would save me some time. We do only have four turns left. Okay, I don't even know if anybody's gonna get that star. I could use my Mega Mushroom to get some distance, but I'll use it next turn because I want to go to the item shop on this turn. Um, I'll take a Magic Lamp because stars are free. So now I can just use that next turn, awesome. And I get another Mega Mushroom, I cannot get a Mini Mushroom. I keep like thinking, oh, they're probably gonna change it, so I'll choose the small again, and they don't. I don't think I'm in the lead for the happening star anymore, but I'm guaranteed the mini game, so I've been doing so well with mini games. Waluigi's probably in second for it, but I don't think he'd get it. Come on, new mini game. Oh, this mini game's so annoying. Right or left. Be the first to pilot the Dory boat out of the cave. The right or turns you up, the left or turns you right. Avoid the flames and get out of there. So A actually goes left, and B is right, and at the same time is forward. So A moves left, B moves right. This mini game just has bad controls, and it's easy to get hit by fire. A is left, B is right. Alright, good, we're ahead of them, because we had dodged the fire. The fire is really hard to dodge, honestly. And we won! Awesome, and that was a pretty good record, actually. I used to suck, like, right or left's another mini game that I used to suck at really badly that I'm really good at now. I used to suck at a lot of Mario Party 4 mini games, which is why I used to not like it as much as I do now. Alright, last three turns. Anyway, some mini mushroom. I don't think we're gonna get to see either of the miniature mini games on this board. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do know I'm going to get a fourth star for free. And then I'll also be right near Boo, I believe. Yep. Awesome. See, I only don't mind the genie animation when I'm the person witnessing it. I love how, our, like, our whole body is smaller than his shoe. Yeah, that must have been a rough childbirth you just went through. Okay, I get my free star. Thank you. I got it. So this game's going pretty well for me. I might have this game in the bag, I think. Yes, a 10. Alright, let's see if they have anything good. Um, oh, new item. This is the chomp call. Chomp Call is basically the lucky lamp of this game. It changes the location of the start, and then the Gad Light is like the boo repellent of this game. It keeps boo away. No, it wasn't anything you said, Toad. I just don't want an item. Oh, and I'm gonna ride the roller coaster. So I'm gonna steal coins from Waluigi. Yahoo! 
Wow, I didn't know Toad could be so greedy and help steal coins. What kind of business is that though? You charge people five coins to steal 20? So yes, I'm gonna ride the roller coaster. It's five coins, but you get more on the ride. Because you get to move to get coins. But you just gotta tilt in the direction of the coins. And I'm just gonna get chased right back over there. Oh, if I had a mini mushroom, I could have played the miniature mini game. Whatever, I'll just randomly turn Mega next turn. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna make this, um, 30 or two parts. Because there's really no point in making a third part. I'll just have, like, two really long parts. Alright, four player mini game. We're getting a new one guaranteed. Toad's Cook Trial, we'll love this one. Yahoo! When Toad raises the flag, you have to find the balloon that's the same color and shoot it. Keep your cursor between the balloons so you can get to any of them as soon as Toad raises the flag. Okay, simple enough. You gotta be quick though. And you know me, I don't have quick reactions. So, it's the first of three who wins. And I'm the red cursor. And the cursor doesn't control that great blue. Dang it, DK got it. But yeah, I don't even understand how they're moving them like that. I can just do this. Yellow, my favorite color. I had to get that, that's my favorite color. Green. Oh, DK again. DK might win this. Come on, you can do this, Mario. Blue. Alright, just one more. Yes! Wow, Peach and Waluigi did nothing. Thanks for putting up a fight at least, DK. Wait, never mind actually, this recording's been 32 minutes. I might just like have to do make the last two turns a uh, final part. Unless I want like a 40 minute part two video, which I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna take a long time to upload. But I remember from Adam Mario's newer Mario Party 8 project, she did every board, she just made it one part, and each part was, it was like an hour. Oh, and she's gonna warp the Waluigi, that's not really gonna do much though. I'm just gonna turn Mega just for the why not. Oh, and we have to watch another magic lamp animation. And DK is gonna get a free star. I'm in a good position though, because I have the most stars and I'm tied with Peach for the most coins. So I am in a good position to win this board. Uh, yeah, get used to these in this playthrough. These get pretty annoying. It's weird, though. In my Mario Party 3 project, I feel like a lot of magic lamps weren't used. Kawazam! Or did he say Alakazam? I, th I, I think it was he just said Kawazam. Yeah, so DK gets a third star, but I have a lot more money than him and one more star, and I'm getting the mini game star, so I think I have this game in the bag. Yeah! Oh, 
Bowser Space. And this Mario Party game was the first Mario Party game to introduce Bowser mini game. You can either get Bowser or Koopa Kid. Bowser can like make you play a mini game or like do something different every time. Koopa Kid, who's actually more common, will just either take coins from all of you or just the person who landed on the space. Oh, and that was lucky that we didn't get those other two. We get the new one, Reverse Bomb. Press the corresponding buttons to redirect the bob ons Blow the other team up 10 times to win. Explosions stop you from moving for a little while, so when those buttons light up, get to them quickly. Okay. Alright, this one's all about timing. You gotta just, got, gotta hit them quickly. Stop. I'm a Waluigi again. But this time we're on the blue team. Alright, so there's three switch, there's six switches, so you should get three and then your partner should get three. Alright, we're doing okay now. You don't want to have the bomb blow up right in front of you because then it really slows you down. Alright, good, we won. Even though Waluigi screwed up, I'm really good at reverse bomb. Alright, last turn. This is actually my longest video I've ever made. Last turn. Yeah, so this took forever. I think starting from Shy Guy's Jungle Jam, I'm gonna switch to 15 turns. But let me get, know what you guys think about that. I think I'm going to switch to 15 turns. Cause this just took so long. All right, might as well turn Mega one last time. Why not? Wow. I think I'm gonna win this board, but this is pretty close. And a six. Oh, I think I might get the Happening Star now, actually, because of that. I think the Happening Star is actually gonna be mine. D. I know that DK is gonna get the Coin Star, so he's definitely gonna get second. Peach, who ended was a really big threat in the beginning, is actually gonna get last, most likely. Alright, final minigame of the board. Looks like a 2 versus 2 or 1 versus 3. 1 versus 3. Good, we needed one of these. Tree Stomp, this is a quick minigame, and the team of 3 has an advantage. This minigame takes forever if the team of person by themselves wins. Uh, 3 players control robots while so the other player runs. The runner must stay alive for 45 seconds to win. Grabbing a golden banana will make you faster, but be careful how fast you get going. Yeah, so basically all we have to do is run in him. If he slightly touches our machine, he dies and we win. The person by themselves rarely wins this minigame. game. And look, violent monkeys. Fight, <laughs> written on the banana. You can never go wrong with the speedy banana for the team of three though. And see how easy that is. All right, final results. Things are looking pretty good for me. I have the most stars and coins. We unlocked a bunch of mini games and got stuff done. Yahoo! Yeah! All right, I have the most stars. I also had the most coins. Yeah. Alright, the minigames are... Yeah, me. We all saw that coming. Coin star is DK. Oh, they call it the green star, though. In this game. And then the hap... Oh, no! No, that was a coin star. I don't know why I thought that it is called the happening star in this game. They call it the green star in Mario 36. Oh, and a three-way tie for the happening star. Everyone except for Waluigi. So I won, definitely. That wasn't even really that close. So who's the winner? Not Waluigi. Not Peach. And not DK. Mario wins. 
Alright, let's quickly look at the detailed result. That board went really well. It always starts out well though, this is how the 3-3 curse tricks me. So you got DK. Wow, I had six stars. Peach and Waluigi only had two. DK is really the only person who got close. Alright, minigame star, I definitely had that, although Waluigi did pretty well. Most coins at one time, I actually was pretty close. And wow, I got a lot of red spaces. So we all got four happening spaces and Waluigi got none. Two chance times, which didn't affect me. Only two battle games, which doesn't happen very often. And... Oh, I never got a warp space. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was Toad's Midway Nad Madness. Next time we're going to be doing the other one-star difficulty board, which is Shy Guys Jungle Jam. So, that's Toad's Midway Madness, and I'll see you guys next time for Shy Guys Jungle Jam. Later, guys.